Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Lorian and I am a mum of five. So my sons all wanted to share a bedroom and they all have a triple bunk and they share a room um, which actually worked out really well because um, I was pregnant as you see in most of this and my daughter Flossie was in my room because she is a year and a half. At the time she was about a year old and she needed to move into her own bedroom um, because of the baby coming. So it just worked perfectly that I could then transform their bedroom into Flossie's bedroom and I actually found it so much fun because she's my first daughter I've never done a girly bedroom before so I was able to transform a navy blue and grey bedroom into a princess bedroom and it's just sort of been something I've always wanted to do um if there's any background noise then my daughter who is two and a half months is just feeding at the moment I am just holding her while Flossie napped I was pregnant and Rue was watching television I believe he was watching Toy Story I just quickly got a coat of paint on this room and I managed to get this done before she woke up from her nap it was so satisfying so I got a coat of white on and then Curtis did redo it that evening and put another coat on but we didn't film that and then I took Flossie to the shop to choose a paint sample so there were two pinks I was unsure of which ones to use and she picked it out of my hand and she actually chose the sample called fairy floss which was absolutely lovely because we call her fairy floss literally call her that and that's what her paint's called the next day me and curtis went over it with um the pink and then we left one wall because i wanted to do wallpaper um i didn't want to wallpaper the whole room but i just wanted to find something really pretty to put on one wall um i would have liked it to be the wall when you come in but that wall was only small so i will link below everything i got everywhere i found it and i will make sure that you can find everything if you like anything So the wallpaper was not the best of jobs. It was extremely hard. We've never done wallpapering before. And my dad said he's done it loads before and it's not too difficult. But honestly, this piece came off about three times. Came back on about three times. Curtis did amazingly in the end. But at the time, it felt like it was just never going to go on properly. But it looks beautiful now. And he did such a good job for his first time of actually doing that. So it has taken a while for like the finishing touches to all come together. But I'm a very busy mum. I have so much to do. And her room is finally complete which is really nice to say yeah it is done it will be interesting when it comes to christmas and she's got lots of toys because her birthday's in january as well so then we'll have a big influx of toys to sort out maybe i'll need some more storage in her bedroom but we'll get to that when we get there Sunshine in the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. And I will leave my windows open so that I can hear the sound of. Who's it, darling? Ratio, no. Who's it, baby? 
I did want to change her carpet and I wanted to get like a cream carpet but I just decided against it because I thought it's just a bit silly to change cream carpet in one bedroom I just thought it'd give it like a softer look rather than the grey that we went for when we bought the house but yeah I didn't go for it because it just wasn't worth the extra expense especially in a house that we weren't planning on staying in for a very long time we always knew that we would like to move but since doing her bedroom we've decided that it's definitely something we'll be doing Uh, chest of drawers I got on Facebook marketplace and I actually I didn't Curtis did sanded it down and we changed the knobs on it um, and it got the look that exactly as I wanted it um, and then her cot we bought from Costco which was actually a really good price for what it was I will also show you the space for my youngest daughter Lilac she has got her nursery bits in my bedroom um, and I've gone this time for like an oak color well it is oak the furniture is oak so I've gone for oak for her because it's just a bit of a different um, theme I don't want to do the same them both so Flossie's is quite pink pale and delicate colors and lilac's bedroom is going to be oaky and lilac-y and i will show you it on the end when i pop my clip of her bedroom i will show you lilac's room too Looking back at this, I can't believe how young Flossie was. It was only a few months ago and she just looks like a baby. So this is a dressing rail. Um, I just really wanted somewhere I can hang dresses. At the moment, she's not got any princess dresses, just normal clothing dresses, like not dressing up ones. But as soon as it gets to Christmas and her birthday, she's very girly and she loves princesses. So I'm sure she'll have some princess outfits to hang up. At the moment, we just hang her usual dresses up and she actually runs in there and picks out a dress. It's very sweet. So yeah, Horatio helped me build this and this was from a great little trading co. It was exactly what I was after and it's just the sort of thing that we will use for a very long time in her bedroom. So her bed sheets I got from the White Company, which is more expensive for bed sheets. I don't usually go there, but they were perfect again for exactly what I wanted, which was fairies and they're delicate and they're pink and they're white and she loves her fairy bed sheets. So I wanted to make a little pot for some decoration on her shelf and I got the, what are they called? I can't think what they're called, the leaf things I've got. Um, I got them from Hobbycraft and I got the pot from Dun & Mill. Yeah, I think it looks really cute. I just, I don't know how I came up with it. I'm not really that sort of person, but yeah, I came up with it and I really like it. And I did get two of the pots. So the other one I've put her tea set in and she always goes and gets it and plays with it. And then these photos, I adore these prints um, I got for both the girls with their names on. And they're just gorgeous. And I got them from a website I found online. I saw the um, lady shop on Instagram first. So Curtis made the shelf for me. He's a joiner, so it's just his sort of thing. He made the shelves for me. He made a white one for Lilac, for Flossie, and an oak one for Lilac. So they both sort of got the same things on their shelves.
I'm now going to show you everything that's in the room where we got it from. Sorry if I'm looking around, I have my daughter here. Um, and I'm just going to show you it all because I'm really happy with it. And um, yeah, I'll tell you where we got all the bits from and things like that. Okay, so this is her bedroom then. Um, so I am so happy with it. It is so perfect to me. Um, I'm going to just show you where we got everything, just in case you're interested. So this is a Sylvanian family house, which was the boys, but they didn't really play with it. Um, so I've just popped it in here because Flossie likes it. She likes all the animals and characters and things. Um, this is her cot which is from Costco and um, we had the same one for Cosmo but we don't have it anymore it's got like a big drawer underneath so her bedding is from the white company as I said um, and she's got this lovely pillow which I also bought as well I just couldn't resist it and when she loses her first teeth she pops it in there for the tooth fairy so I wanted a netting to go I'm just gonna pop Lila down hopefully she stays down happily so I wanted a netting to go over the bed and I've got this one which was from Amazon, it wasn't very expensive and I just wanted something really simple and it's got these like diamond um, like sequins um, all over it which shines and sparkles and it's got like a trim around it and then this blind is from Next um, and it's like hearts and it's like a fold sort of design and it's got these little hearts all the way around the bottom um, it is an actual brand, but it was from Nick, so I'll li list it below. These are the baskets I said about, which has got her tea set in it. And these are from Dun & Milk. I paid about like £2, £2.50 for them, or even less, it could have been £1.50. Um, and I just think they're just perfect. She uses her tea set all the time. Um, this is probably a bit young for her now. I mean, Lilac will probably use it soon, so I'll pop it downstairs soon. But she does sometimes come in and just mess about with it. And then this is her dressing rail which was from The Great Little Trading Co. Um, when I bought it, I definitely got a voucher code. So if you're gonna buy anything, make sure you have a little look out. I think I paid about 104 for it. Um, and then in the top, I've popped all her hair bands and bits like that. This is her little um, princess cape. And then she has her dresses here. So this unicorn underneath was mine when I was little. Um, and I've not been able to part with it. She's called Misty. And I just thought it was perfect when I had Flossie to put it in her room because it always used to lay on my bed when I was little. And then this rug was from H&M and it was really cheap. It's about 15 pounds. I was looking at rugs and some are just so expensive, but that was just like simple and it adds a bit of color to the room and it was just not very expensive. And then these chest of drawers, um, as I said, we sanded them down and painted them and added these knobs because I wanted a more natural effect. This jewelry box we bought because we used to sell things, um, but we don't need, we don't anymore. So yeah, she's just got this cute little jewelry box she can use as she grows. This basket was from Amazon, um, and then she's got a few bits in it. So this is a photo frame, but um, I'm not going to use that yet. So I'll just pop it in there. And then this Fairyland book, which used to be my sister's, and um, she didn't need it anymore. She's 20 now. So she gave it to me for Flossie. And um, this book, the boys chose for her. So then I just popped that in there. And then I have another one of these baskets, which I showed you me making. And I um, got these from Hobbycraft. And this is the shelf Curtis made and the lights. And I just think that looks absolutely gorgeous. And so I popped these lights, which are from Nick, so about eight pounds. On the shelf and this picture I will put the ladies shop below but isn't it just gorgeous so that's Flossie's um, name and middle names and it says you are so loved and it's got a little pink fairy and it's just absolutely gorgeous isn't it so Flossie's wallpaper I found online and it actually was really expensive this was about 70 pounds for um, what we've got and we don't have a lot left over um, but yeah it's just everything I ever wanted. <laughs> it is um, got fairy castles and just pretty flowers and fairies all over it. And it's just exactly what I wanted. You can get it so that the background's pink, which um, is also gorgeous and I would have gone for it if her bedroom wasn't so pink. But because her room is so pink, I chose to go vanilla, I think it's called, um, just because it gives a bit of a different color to the room. That's Flossie's bedroom, isn't it? You've not got a bedroom yet, but you've got a little bit of space, haven't you, honey? <laughs> Shall I show them your space? So, lilac space is in my bedroom, and I got these um, oak furniture, which is a nursery set from Facebook Marketplace for £300. And it's solid oak, and 
we've got this bookshelf which I've just popped bits in so that's like a bag with some clothes in it for her and then these are teddies that she's been given and then this is just extra bits so like that's mine this needs nappies in it for tonight and then that's just my extra bits um, and then my brother bought me this candle um, when we went away on holiday I popped a wedding picture in there and it just some of her bits, so just some washing bits and things. And then this is her cot. She's her name's Lilac, and I've got her a lilac fitted sheet, which I'm really happy with. And um, this pillow, which she'll put on her bed when she gets older, hopefully. Um, Horatio bought me that, and this is like a dresser and a changing table. Um, and it just pops some bits on it for now. Um, and my auntie gave her that. And then that's her little shelf. Um, so I did have one of these for Flossie, which I'm going to hang them on the wall. It's not going to sit there. It's going to hang up here. Um, but Flossie's bent it to nothing, so it doesn't save Flossie anymore. Um, so I am going to need to order another one. And um, this is a candle Curtis got for me. And there, I got her some white lights. I just wanted to go for like a different um, look. And obviously her things are purple and oak. So her frames, oh, the frames are from Marks and Spencer and they were like £7.50, which I thought was an amazing price because I popped into the range and they were quite expensive in there. Um, so this is Lilac's name and her lovely, lovely picture. So yeah, that is my girls' bedrooms. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little room transformation and seeing the girls' bedrooms. And um, if you have any questions, then please do ask me. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you on my next video.